Hey guys, Tim here, aka FCFan21, bringing you week 5 of the MMC, the Mighty Mythical Colosseum. Um, this week, um, let's start to look at the rankings or the standings. I'm currently number 10 with a 2-2 two and two record and a plus 1 differential. And I'll be taking on the third seed of this competition, the New York Garchomps, coached by uh, I... HLP. Um, looking at his team, he has a um, quite futuristic team with Tapu Koko setting up surges and uh, bundle uh, threats and jugulus making use of the electric terrain. Uh, furthermore, some great bulk in Gorgeist, Alamomola, and Muck. Um, some great offense in. Uh, Megazard X and Paldea Toro's uh, combat breed and a <coughs> great support man in Mesprit. So um, here it is in um, DL or uh, Showdown and let's see what I bring. Um, this first set was really um, yeah I was a bit on the fence about it. Um, honestly I kind of what did I bring? I think, yeah, it was uh, a Golventula set with Thunderbolt for the electric terrain, but I end up scrapping it because I wasn't really um, convinced it could do much for me. So, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. <coughs> so, I went with a um, very annoying Appleton set. Uh, max HP, max special defense, and the final 8th points in special attack. Uh, Chesto Berry, Thick Fat, with Dragon Pulls, Rest, Recycle, and Leech Seed. Um, for anyone that's not really um, uh, uh, familiar with, with what this does, um, if I think I will be very low in HP, I click Rest. And my Chesto Berry activates to wake me up uh, immediately, so I have full HP, and I have um, and I have no sleep turns basically. That also means I lost my item, but with recycle, I um, restored a hold item, so I get back my Chesto Berry. And when I get low again, I just click rest, and I wake up immediately. And so I basically have a uh, let's see how many times I can use Recycle. 16 times. Rest is just 8. Oh. So at least I can uh, rest up 8 times without uh, falling asleep, basically. And Lead Sheet is there to drain away HP from my opponent while keeping myself healthy. Um, I went for a Dragon Pulse instead of a um, Grass type move. Because he does not have a Fairy typing. And Dragon is resisted by the threats. And that's it. So, oh, and, this, oh, wait, it's Tapu Koko, of course, but, um, yeah. So, yeah, um, that's the Appleton set. I have a offensive Regirock set, which I'm very uh, excited to use. Uh, max HP, max attack, with the final four in special defense. Adamant Nature. Um... Loaded dice, clear body, so I'm... Wait, that should be sturdy. There we go. But, yeah, for a special attacker, it's good. Um, rock Blast, Earthquake, Explosion, Rock Polish. With Rock Polish, I go to plus two. And if he speed creeps his bundle, I can outspeed it, basically. So, um, if he's not max speed bundle, a Rock Polish does... Uh, make Regirock outspeed because Bundle's max speed is 4 or 8 so that's even with a timid nature if he's modest he can no longer outspeed so um, yeah against my team I would be very surprised if he runs modest because he honestly doesn't need it my fastest mon is Tauros or Galvantula which both are under 110 base speed so yeah would be kind of foolish to run 
max speed. And with Rock Blast and Earthquake, I can really put some holes into his team. Um, Earthquake for the Coco, Rock Blast for a Bundle, Earthquake for the uh, Threats, Rock Blast for both Gorgeist and the Alamomola. Rock Blast and Earthquake are a toss up, but Rock Blast has a small chance to miss, so I think I'd rather go for Earthquake against a Mega Evolved Zard. Um, Earthquake for the Muck, a Rock Blast for Jugulus, and against Mesprit, I have to use Rock Blast because of Levitate. And I have to use Earthquake because otherwise it's not very effective. So as you can see, I have um, he won't have many answers once I've set up my uh, speed stat. So again, very uh, excited to yeah just start clicking buttons with Regirock. And best thing to set it up against is something like Muck. Uh, weirdly enough, the Megazard or the Threats because of my high base defense. Uh, talking about high base defense, Gligar, max HP, max defense with an impish nature, final four in eight attack. With an Eevee Light, I run immunity over hyper cutter because I don't want to be toxic by a uh, poison touch muck or just toxic from an Alomomola. It's a tongue twister, I admit. And hyper cutter could be useful against um, the Taros, but not really worried about it. Um, yeah, so this is my physical wall. It's there to set up Stealth Rocks, um, Roost for uh, HP recovery, of course, Earthquake for a step move, and I bring Counter again this week. So things like uh, physical hitters, like the Megazard, um, Kent, Oko, Gligar, and a Counter, most likely Oko's in return. My special wall this week will be Primarina. And I see I forgot to give it a, uh, a nature, so calm. Um, max special attack, max special defense with speed. And surprise, surprise, calm nature. Uh, I run Assault Fest with Torrent ability, Moonblast, Sculpt, Energy Ball, Shadow Ball. Again, a um, hard hitting special wall for things like Bundle. For the Jugulus, for special Mesprit, for maybe special Coco. Um, I thought Thunderbolt was a three-hit KO on, Prima, on this Primarina set. So, yeah. Um, yeah, this is a great special ball. And his main special attackers like Jugulus, like Bundle, um, can't really touch it. So... Um, next up, I've got Annihilate. Max HP, max... Uh, attack. Um, Rage Fist, Ice Punch, Drain Punch and Bulk Up with Leftovers and Defiant. Um, yeah, this um, because of the uh, Tauros, I really wanted to bring uh, Anila with Defiant because uh, of the Intimidate ability. And um, does he have anything else that lowers stats? Not really, but okay. Um, so yeah, uh, Rage Fist, Ice Punch, Drain Punch is great coverage because I can basically hit everything for at least neutral. Um, I have Rage Fist for the Coco, Drain Punch for both uh, Bundle and Threats, Ice Punch for the uh, Gorgeist, I think Rage Fist or, or Rage Fist is of course good for the Gorgeist. Um, whatever on Alamomola qua insta stepwise. Um, the Megazard X, uh, Ice Punch is neutral, so everything is neutral against it. Same goes for the Muck against, except for Drain Punch. Jugulus, Taya doesn't like an Ice Punch, um, so yeah. Basically hard hitting, and if they want to remove uh, Gligar's rocks, I can easily do that with. Uh, I can easily prevent that with my uh, annihilate. And last but not least, I have a physical Victini this week. Normally, I bring special Victini, but I liked uh, this physical matchup this week for Victini. I've got expert belt with max attack and max uh, speed with a um, adamant nature. And I'm starting to think why it didn't... Oh yeah, I see why. Uh, v create Bolt Strike, Zen Headbutt, and the reason I run Adamant and not a uh, 
something like Jolly is Flame Charge. Flame Charge, when used, is a 100% chance to raise the user's speed stat. So basically, uh, V Create lowers defense, special defense, and speed. And at least the speed stat uh, I can up uh, before I use V Create. So um, the speed uh, drop doesn't really matter. And V Create Bolt Strike and Zen Headbutt is great coverage against this team. So. Yeah, and the Expert Belt makes it so I still have an attack boost uh, when I use super effective moves without uh, limiting myself to using only one move. So, yeah, that's it. Um, so that's the team uh, for uh, my match. And yeah, I'll see you at the match. Up the Vivalons. So I've got the challenge from HIHLP. Let's see, Megazord, Muck, and three future Pokemon. Um, good luck, have fun. Smiley face. And sure, I can post link. Um, let's see, there we go. Into live battle. And at live battle ping. There we go. So let's see. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he starts off with the Coco for an electric train boost. Mm, and in that case, I think I rather start with Dr. Acula. Zart, okay. Um, let's see. I want to see Glagar against Mega Charizard X. He ain't doing shit to me. So I think I stealth work. I don't mind that at all, actually. Um, I've got my rocks up. I've got my rocks up and you just don't. Na, 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 na. Yeah, I'm childish like that. Sue me. Uh, no, don't sue me. I don't like being sued. Uh, let's see. Three hit after burn. I'm just going. Am I going to scout or just. I think a earthquake is fine here. He is max, let's say, adamant. Element does not change much. Okay, safe switching into Jugulus. And I have a safe switching into Primarina, which I will be doing. Because Jugulus can't really touch Primarina if I'm right. Jugulus, let's say Specs. Yeah. Dark Pulse, <laughs> 9%. Let's go. Dark Pulse, 9%, 9 without, oh uh, come on, I do not see leftovers, uh, let's think about this, he could, that means he's not even fully, f wait, 8% even, 8%, 8%, how? How did I just do 8%? Um, I go for... He probably goes for the muck now. Um, he is not fully special attack, I guess. I don't even think he has special attack investment. Damn. Okay. Fair enough. Um, scold, I guess. He U-turns. Fair, fair, fine with me. Into the muck. Saw that one coming. I go for scalds. Can I get a burn? I do not. And I'm getting weird looks for my cat. That's rolling around just behind my laptop. Let's see. Glagar does not take much damage. So let's go. Knock off. There goes Eevee lights. Uh, let's see, Eevee Light is gone, I am burned, 
So I do not do much and he does not do much to me probably. Let's see, knock off that uh, 17%. Let's see, knock off um, with item on Eviolite. 17% uh, elements did I see items being used I said reconnect um, I did not see an item being used so um, oh wait 18% was a crit damn kit So that's probably also not invested. Interesting. I'm just going to roost up and he's going for a ice punch. Just 25%. Damn, Doc Dr. Acula, you absu absolute monster. Ice punch does 25%. Wait. Is it level 50 or something? <laughs> Oh, that showdown thing is really annoying. Um, it's not burned. I have not enabled crits. Oh wait, oh, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I was no flying type anymore, so because of, uh, there we go. Yeah. Um, so let's see, I sponge without, with me, so he's not invested, so let's say I'm flying, um, I should live one, so I'm going to chip it, and I'm going to roost now, He'll sends out, he sends out his threats, his threats is heavy duty boots, and so Reggie Rock against threats offensive mm, don't like that if anyone knows how to fix this please let me know because I'm getting really really sick of it knock off again not doing much but 33% on a crit. That's good information. Let's see. Gligar. And my girlfriend is going to try something. I don't think it's connectivity thing, so let's see. Crit. Sure. I did about 33% with a crit, so probably no investment. Uh, let's think, am I going for a roost or am I going for an earthquake? Um, he outspeeds me most likely, so I'm going for a roost. He's rapid spinning, fine with me. I want to keep rocks on the field here. Okay, he's going for an Ice Spinner. How much is that doing to Furious George? Annihilate Ice Spinner. Does do just a little bit of damage. Um, so, yeah. Ha! Spin blocked. 
I've been trying to do that for so long now. <laughs> and I finally did it. Furious George, you are amazing. Um, but I do think this is his moment to bring out the Coco. There we go. I'm going for a Rage Fist. 27%. Okay. Coco. 27%. I am left over, yes. 27. Tapu Coco. How am I doing 27%? Again. It's not making much sense. D Gleam, 52. 63% there. Thank you. And knowing he is a special attacker, I think he's going to switch out. But his Coco can't switch in on Stealth Rocks now, so that's nice for me. So that means he still has the three to six turns of terrain now. And after that, terrain is gone. So, yippee me. But we have gone 15 turns without a kill. Dr. Ecula is pretty worn out. Furious George is halfway. Primarina is at 83. Joculus took some stealth rock damage. Muck is down half. Threats has taken a third of damage. Coco is almost down and out. And Bundle. So, um, I need to keep rocks up in this game. Why? Because... Okay, thank you. 15% from a... There's... Ling Ling. Uh, against Primarina. So yeah, I should be taking this and Skull should be safe. I hope I do not regret this. I had a safe switching into Gligar by the way, damn it. Because speed, fair enough, is a Rapid spin, strong enough from threats. Offensive spin, could be. Damn it. Um, risking the biscuit. Okay, so that's down. Good for me. And... Going into ape. Okay, now let's think. Let's think. I think Drain Punch is my play because it takes. It gives a neutral hit off on any everything except for the muck. And. Can he take two? No, he cannot. And I'm just healing myself back up. So Rage Fist is already at base 100. So. Furious George is doing something. Took me some time to let him do something, but I feel like I slowly start getting the hang of it with him. So, okay, Jugulus. Let's see. Ape versus Jug. Mm, do not like those odds, to be honest. Hmm. How about Reggie Rock? Hmm. Depending on what he goes for, Dark Pulse and U-Turn. I guess he has, yeah, Flying Stab. 
29% on the hurricane. 29. So that's no item. Um, I think I'll go for rock polish. Let's set it up. Oh, is this going to work? I, I'm going to flip out if I have another speed setup and another sweep, like week two with the uh, what you call it, mega scissor. If I can do the same thing with Regirock, I'm going to lose my mind. So basically, um, yeah, U-turn, fine. Threats comes in. I rock polish plus two, and I should always outspeed the threats because I've seen threats mm, switch up. Oh wait, I know it's heavy duty boots because it does not take any damage from switching, so I go for an earthquake here. Okay, since by the way, since my girlfriend plugged in her phone as a uh, hotspot point. I feel like my connection is more stable with DL. So, good. On, almost. Can I live one? I live one, nice. Let's see. I know I outspeed. Does threats have any priority? Ooh, I wonder, does threats have priority? I'm not sure. But if he had priority, he would have clicked it now. For sure. And he has mega his uh, Charizard, so it does not have flying uh, resist there. So he can't just switch in the Megazard. Joculus, yes, we got a kill with Regirick. Let's go. Megazard X. Let's see, Mega Charizard X, I am plus two, I should click Rock Blast. One, two, three, let's go! Two kills with Regirock, Iron Bundle, Bundle, Uber Specs, um, <laughs> Let's see. One. There we go. Should I click the button? Okay, I let I let you decide. Yeah, you should explode. Yeah. Yeah. But let's see. Brock Blast has a chance to miss, so fuck it. I want to show some tech. There we go, 4 0s victory. And I just wanted to show the explosion. So, um, damn, that Reg Regirock set did was fire. <laughs> <laughs> Bother, but at what cost? <laughs> I mean, uh, I I really love doing this with Red Rock. <laughs> I mean, this thing is five points, six points, mark max. I mean, oh, and it just took out a Megazard X, a Iron Threads, a Jugulus, a Bundle. Oh, damn. Um, yeah. Um. 
uh, thing I wanted to I take away from this match, I really start to see opportunities for me to set up and just uh, go to town with it. Um, I had it week two with the Articuno uh, that was set up fodder for the Mega Zora Scissor. I saw this time with Joculus being set up fodder for the Regirock and I grabbed the opportunity and it paid off major, massively, just massive. Regirock is massive. Every, sorry, I'm getting too excited about this. Uh, it's just a game in the end. Um, again, good game to uh, H uh, IHLP. Um, again, uh, the explosion at the end was not out of any disrespect at all for him. Just want to make that clear. Um, one, I just wanted to show off I had Explosion, just because I really found it funny I had it. And second of all, um, just ensuring the win, because uh, Rock Blast has a 90% accuracy and it has a chance to miss. So, um, yeah, with Gligar being down pretty badly to 21% and Furious George not taking uh, Flying Types very well, um, Victini not taking uh, dark type moves and Appleton not taking flying moves very well. I just wanted to not take any risk there. So again, dude, sorry if it feels disrespectful, but I hope uh, you see um, it's not meant disrespectfully. I just wanted to make sure I killed there. So um, three and two, I f hope, I think. But I really hope I'm back in playoff spots right now. And yeah, um, as always, thank you all for watching. And I hope you had as much of a blast as I had playing this game. Because my god, I had fun playing this game. Uh, thank you all again for watching. And yeah, up the Vivalance!